guys, welcome back. Flooding my poor team here. And, um, yeah, uh, we're gonna do some more dual puzzles. Uh, what I decided is, um, I don't know if we're gonna finish all the puzzles in the next two episodes, uh, but we're gonna do two episodes of this. And then, um, what I'm gonna do next is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to register. I don't know if I'll try to register everybody we can at this point in the game, uh, but I will be doing a lot of it, you know, without commentary on my uh, HDMI device. So yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Um, I could do it off screen and just not show you guys, but you know, I figure I got the HDMI, might as well show you guys, so yeah. Uh, in between, I uh, did a few things, ed edited some, I uh, actually edited some shorts. <laughs> it's funny, uh, I was actually looking on uh, some of my analytics or whatever, and uh, one of my shorts that I did with a uh, double cost on, man, that thing's up to like, like almost 1,500 views. So I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. And even if it only brings in like one or two new people to the channel, I'd say it's worth it. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, puzzle time. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, we got Red Eyes, Moisture Creature. Well, he doesn't have any back row. Holy crap. Ultimate and Master of Oz. Okay. Hey, hey. So we can get rid of one of them. Uh, how are we getting rid of the other one? That's a good question. Um, got two metamorphoses. What's in the fusion deck? This will probably give me some hints. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Okay. Well, if we can get a level one monster, that would be good. Um, Moki Moki King. That's funny. Uh, Gaia and Crimson Sunbird. Well, I don't think Gaia, Crimson Sunbird, or Black Skull Dragon are going to help against Ultimate and Oz. Now, what does this do? When summon, destroy all monsters on your side. Oh, okay. I thought last warrior destroyed on both sides. Okay, so that's not gonna help us either. I don't think. Uh, but yeah, restrict would be good because we could absorb. We could absorb ultimates and do 300. Uh, I don't think that'd be enough though. Um, but how would I get restrict? I don't have a level one. I have two level twos. And. Uh, Wait, wait, what's in my graveyard? Moki Moki? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. We do have Moki Moki King. Maybe we do need Moki Moki King. I don't know. When this card's removed from the field, you can special summon. Ah, okay. So we. Hmm. For that, I need a level a level uh, six for metamorphosis. Yeah, I need a level six. How am I gonna get a level six? I have. Ah, uh, we do have a legendary ocean. All right. Now yeah, check this out, land lover. I play a legendary ocean. This downgrades all my water monsters to uh, by one level, making Sui Jin a level six. I guess that's the play we go with here, guys. Sacrifice Mushroom Man for Suijin. Now, Suijin's effect could help us win, but unfortunately we have to win this turn, so... And it's only when he attacks us, right? Yeah. Make the attack of a monster attacking this card, yeah, so... I uh, believe it or not, I think Moki Moki may be the way to go. Okay, Metamorphosis number one. Bring out uh, the king. Ready yourself. Now, land lover, face the wrath of my Moki Moki King. Moki Moki. All right. Now, it does say remove from the field, right? I guess this is going to work. So, Hain Hain, remove Moki Moki King. Moki Moki. Man, that episode with uh, the little Balowski, oh man, <laughs> that's, that's probably the most hilarious episode of all of GX. Uh, but anyway, now we can get Moki Moki out of the graveyard. Alright, and it is a level 1, so... Metamorphosis. Again, second one. And once again, in the puzzles... Man, they really like making us use this card. Thousand Eyes Restrict is here yet again. What can I say? Alright, so I'm pretty sure we absorb Ultimate here. Uh, 
Okay. So only Thousand Eyes Restrict can attack. Uh, how do we do the extra three? So we'll do 300. How do we do 200 more? Ah, well, you know, it is a dark monster, so... I guess we just play Mystic Plasma Zone and boost it that way, huh? Boost it to our Thousand Eyes Restrict to 5,000. Yep, I guess this is the way to go. I love the sound effect when it when a fuel card's played. It's so awesome. All right, Thousand Eyes are stripped. Attack with the power of Ultimate Dragon. Ultimate Burst Stream of Destruction. I'm surprised they didn't give Grandpa 800 life points there. Uh, just uh, just to kind of throw you off, I guess. But... Wow, somehow we did it, guys. We did it. All right, that one was a little tricky. So yeah, I don't know if we'll finish all the puzzles or not, but uh, either way, that's the plan uh, after these next two episodes with commentary. So, Soul El Luna, what in the world? Okay, uh, when in this turn, wow. Okay, so we got blue, two blue eyes. Wait, what? Oh, one with this black pendant, one with our black pendant. Okay. Ultimate Offering, interesting, Book of Taiyu, Chun World, huh, and Book of Moon, okay, interesting, how am I going to do this one, huh, okay, and we also have, uh, oh, in the graveyard, oh, wow, Double Man of Cross Out, hmm, okay, Got, well, I think you have to use Ultimate Offering here, pretty much. No, don't use it right now. Let me let me think for now. So I could take back Cross Out, Book of Moon, one of them, get rid of it with Cross Out and uh, Magician of Faith. That's one way to go. Uh, let's just try that. Uh, it's you know it's staring me right in the face, so let's do it. Um, so the. Why does this one have my black pendant? I don't know, but um, I guess let's uh, let's do that. I guess. So let's set magician of faith. Let's just try this. Let's just try this. Uh, Book of Taiyu. Flip our magician of faith to grab the cross out. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we'll try it. Grab cross out. There we go. Okay. Book of Moon. Why is Toon World on our field? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, Toon Gemini Elf. If it could attack directly, that might help. Uh, but we'll try things this way. Yeah, destroy that blue eyes. Okay. Nope. So we take 500. Hmm. Way we can make him take an extra 500. Okay, okay. So next time, I'll try to do I'll try to do the one that has our Book of Moon. That might help. Okay, but let's try. Let's just try it this way for now. Cross out. There we go. Um. Hmm. Man Eater Bug. Wow. Uh, that's pretty good too. But I don't think we can use Man Eater Bug regardless. So he's, that's the problem, is he still has one blue eyes on the field. Man, maybe Toon World is the way to go. And then just from there, uh, Ultimate Offering in the, in the Catapult Turtle and stuff. Maybe Toon Gemini Elf is the way to go. Yeah, because whatever I do, I can't get rid of his blue eyes. Well, I can. But I don't think I can get rid of enough life points. Because I can summon three times... Well, let's just try it. Let's just try it for now. Okay, so let's summon three times with Ultimate Offering. I mean, we do have Ultimate Offering here, so maybe this is the solution, but I somewhat doubt it. Uh, oh, and this still has 35. Wow, so even with my own blue eyes, I can't get over that one. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, okay. You got me. Let's surrender for now. Maybe Toon Gemini Elf is the way to go. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So Luna. Interesting. 
win in this turn. Okay, so I was at first I was skipping over Toon World, but um I think there Oh yeah, it can't attack the turn and summon though, right? I think there is a way though, like um Okay, so we play Toon World. Right? So there's that. We set Toon Gemini out. Uh-huh. We Book of Taiyu Gemini Elf. So with that, it should still be able to attack directly this turn. Uh, once again, I think I want to Book of Moon this one, because that'll make our Black Pendant go to the graveyard. So, for an extra five. So let's try that. Book of Moon this one, the one with our Black Pendant. Yeah. No, no, no. I was wondering, why is Black Pendant on each side? But that might help. Uh, so let's try... Let's see if this works. Oh, it does. Okay. So we can attack directly. Okay. So that's that's a big chunk. That's 1,900. Okay. Okay. And so now I've got two summons left. So with Ultimate Offering. So... Okay, so now... Main phase two. I don't think it matters which one you set. So we'll just set a uh, man eater bug and then go for catapult turtle. Man eater bug. Ultimate offering. I don't know if this is going to be enough damage or not, but we'll try. Catapult turtle. Okay, catapult turtle is here. Activate the effect of Catapult Turtle to tribute everything we got left. I don't know if that'll be enough damage, but hopefully it is. 950. Aha! Oh, wow. So that is a solution. Wow. At first, I was just like, there's no way you're, you're supposed to activate Toon World here because, like, you, you were taking so much damage, but I guess so. I guess so because that allows Toon Gemini off to attack directly. Wow. Yeah, I really almost overlooked Toon World. <laughs> After, after using Toon Gemini Elf all that time in my own deck. Congratulations, you're correct. All right, we got two left. Uh, oh, we got four left. Oh, Tribute to the Stars, uh-oh. Ah, so that's where Yu-Gi-Oh! GX got the idea for season three. Ah, Tribute to the Stars, I see. Uh, well, it was a bad idea, let me tell you. That was like probably the most censored thing I've ever seen ever. Uh, grudge match, interesting. Wow, we got some interesting stuff here. What's in our deck? Uh, nothing, nothing. Huh. Okay, Book of Moon. So this will let us draw a card, or draw two, if there's a spirit on the opponent's field. Huh. 2,500. Um... Let me think here. Now, Muka Muka. Muka Muka gets, yeah, points for every card in our hand. So. Um. Book of Moon. Hmm. So I can take out 200 with Celtic Guardian. Or Celtic Guardian. This can draw us two cards. Hmm. Grudge match. Grudge match. Oh. Hmm. And we need to do 2,500 damage? Hmm. I think we may have a way. where the Book of Moon comes into play, but I can't really figure it out. Okay, well, for now, let's summon Yada, Yada Garasu. Okay. Seems like they want Grudge Match. Hmm. I guess let's get rid of Gradius is what I'm thinking here, believe it or not. Mystic Box, get rid of Gradius. 
give you Yadagarasu. Okay. So we want to draw two cards, right? Possibly here. Um, the problem is we have nothing in our deck. But, Sword of Geek Seated does return to the top of your deck afterwards, so maybe equip this to Celtic Guardian. Equip this to Beaver Warrior. Hmm. We might still be missing some damage, though, is the thing. So, I guess we'll try it this way, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah, Celtic Guardian text this. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's something else I could think about with this duel, too, is like, um... Uh, using Book of Moon, if I put all of the sort of, uh, deep-seated on, um, one monster, using Book of Moon can also return the, um, the sort of deep-seated to the top of the deck. I didn't think about that. That's probably the solution, honestly. That's probably the solution. Okay, but let's just try this for now. If I stack both and use uh, Yadagrasu, uh, and I'm surprised they called it Corpse of Yadagrasu. Is that is that the uncensored name? It's gotta be. I can't I can't see them putting Corpse on an English Yu-Gi-Oh card. It just it just screams, you know. It just screams, no, don't do it. So we're 1,200 short. Okay, okay. I think. I think, I think a light bulb just went off there toward the end. Yeah, I can use Book of Moon on something that has both equips. So I think we may have this, guys. I think we may have this. Because we're only 1,200 short. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Grudge match. Grudge match. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Win in this turn. Yep. So summon Yada. Uh, this time, I don't think it matters. Let's Mystic Box. Let's Mystic Box the Time Eater. Time Eater. Give you Yadagarasu. There you go. Okay. Throw both equips onto our strongest monster, which is Celtic Guardian. Celtic Guardian. Celtic Guardian. Okay, there we go. So, battle phase once again. So now we do 1200 by attacking radius. And we were missing 1200 last time, right? I think we got it. I think we got it this time, guys. I think we got it. Yep, 1200. Okay. So now we Book of Moon, uh, the Celtic Guardian. Yeah, there we go. Putting both on top of our deck. That way we can draw some cards for Muka Muka. Chain, chain, boom, boom. Muka Muka, attack Yadagarasu, and I'll activate the trap. Corpse of Yadagarasu. This lets me draw two cards since you've got a spirit, buddy. And there we go, we did it. Nice, nice. Yeah, so we were able to figure these, these uh, first two out. That's good, that's good. All right, you win. This is going good, this is going good. Alright, another 100 points. Alright, next one, Tribute to the Stars. So we've got three left. Tribute to the Stars, Dual Hero, Extra Large. Alright, let's try to figure this one out. Tribute to the Stars. Okay. Win in this turn. Wow, this is interesting. So Spatial Collapse, yeah. As long as it's on the field, total number each player can have is five, so... This card's also a problem, Spell Absorption. Um, so let's see, our life points are at 45, no, our life points are at 1,000, so, oh, he also has bad reaction to Samochi, ooh, so, wait, Gus, what? When one of your spell cards, card effect controlled by my opponent. Oh, I see, I see. So we have two Gust, but the problem is we can't play... 
I see, I see. So we can destroy some of his cards. But yeah, the problem is... The problem is Spatial Collapse won't let us play any more cards right now. Um, the thing I need to think of is which two do we need to destroy with Gust? Because obviously the play here is play Elma onto Gear Free and then use Gust. Um, which two do I destroy? First of all, I think to free up our field, I think you have to play Slot Machine. But obviously, you can't use Zolga because you would take uh, you would take the damage, right? Let me let me just try this. Let me try tributing Zolga because with this, Samochi would just just outright just finish the puzzle, right? Right, Zolga, and then Samochi. Yeah, so you have to tribute the blue eyes to free yourself up. So that's that's first of all, you have to tribute slot machine. You have to tribute both slot machine for blue eyes. That seems pretty clear cut. Because if you don't, yeah, Samochi is just gonna end the door right there. Okay, so that clears up one solution. So tribute both blue eyes for slot machine. Okay, process up the deduction here. Um, then you want to play, let's see, uh, what to destroy first? Well, I guess you want to play Spell Absorption first to, uh, reduce the, uh, yeah, to reduce the life points your opponent's gonna gain. So, yeah, let's try Elma onto Gear Free. Elma onto Gear Free. Okay. Now... Gear Freak should destroy it, right? So this should pop this, it should. Um, yes. And then Chain Gust. Okay, so this is gonna work. Chain Gust, destroy Spell Absorption. Okay, so you have to, you have to loop this a couple times, basically. Okay, now he's not getting as many life points. Elma once again. What do you destroy this time? Well, it has to be Mirror Wall, right? It has to be. Yeah, because otherwise, you probably couldn't even get over Gear Free. Okay, so do that. Yeah, and Samochi doesn't matter at this point, because we're not going to be gaining life points. Chain a card. Yes. Chain Gust. Okay, okay. Making the, the most use out of this horrible card, might I say. Okay, so we get back Elma. Okay, now at this point you can play Premature Burial. Obviously you have to do this to get all of the damage, I'm guessing. Get back a Blue Eyes, get back a Blue Eyes. All right. So, Luster Dragon and Summon Skull are just, uh, just bluffs, I guess, yeah. Elma onto, it doesn't really matter what you put it on. I guess we'll put it on Zolga just for you know, I don't know, whatever reason. All right, battle phase. Everything attack. Zolga, go. Cape of Deadly Wind. Interesting, interesting puzzle there. All right, so he's down to 48. And yeah, uh, Slot Machine has 2K, and Blue Eyes has uh, 3K. So that is 5,000 damage. There we go. We did it, we did it, we figured it out. That one wasn't too bad, that one wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, and with that, guys, I think um, I think we're gonna end the episode here. And in the next episode, might be a bit of a shorter episode, but in the next episode, we're gonna try the last two intermediate puzzles. Might be a long episode. Just depends on you know how long it takes me to figure it out, I guess. But uh. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a good day.